Dr. Battaglia, call extension 198. Dr. Battaglia, extension 198. How is she? Miss North sustained a mild concussion. Otherwise, she's fine. And the baby? The baby's fine, too. Good. You can stare out. How do you feel? Oh, like someone hit me in the head with a two by four. Huh? Been there, too many tequila shots. <laughs> Never mind. Um, I'll just, um... How can I thank you, Greenlee? If you hadn't found me and brought me to the hospital. It was no big deal. I just did what anyone would do. You're not anyone. Why were you in the park by yourself at night? I needed to be alone to think about the baby, about what I want to do. I was afraid and confused, and I needed to make a decision. It sounded like you already made the decision. What are you talking about? Well, when you came to, you were doing what you're doing now. I remember what I was feeling. I was terrified. If anything had happened... Well, you're safe. Both of you. Love. I feel love. Before tonight, this baby wasn't even real. It was like some dream that was happening to somebody else. But then when I fell, when I could have lost this baby... It took me smacking my thick skull to realize it. But I know... I want this baby. Ams, what are you doing out in bed? Why aren't you in bed? Well, I couldn't sleep. When is Santa coming? Not until you're in dreamland. Hey, Emma, did you ask for anything special this year? Well, <laughs> I asked for a paint set. Nice. Mm -hmm. Tap shoes. Great. And a baby sister. I didn't know it before, but I feel it. I want to keep my baby. That's... I know you're not thrilled. And I'm scared out of my mind. I mean, a baby, a kid. I'll figure it out somehow. On your own? Yes. Why? Why not tell Ryan? I don't know. I guess maybe it's that for the first time in my life, I have something that's just mine. Ryan is going to find out at some point. Well, no matter what you tell him, he and I are good. I don't want anything from him. If I could just leave Pine Valley and start over somewhere else, just me and the baby. Is that what you really want? Well, I can't afford to. Not yet. I don't have a job or a place to stay. What about New York? I could help you find a job, an apartment. Supplement your fusion severance so you'd have enough money to tide you over. Are you serious? Absolutely. You get your new life with your baby, and I get my old life with Ryan. No baby. <laughs> Don't answer now. Sleep on it. I'll do it. I'll go to New York. That was fast. Well, it's what I want. It's too hard to be around Ryan. Okay. But if you do this, um, you have to promise Ryan will never find out about this. Greenlee, you could have walked right by me in that park tonight. But you didn't. You saved me. And the baby. I owe you. This is our secret. You rest. I'll take care of everything. Dr. Ponce. Hi, uh, I need my badge, Colby Chandler. Yep. There it is. Thank you. Dr. 
Dr. Ponce to the delivery room. What's up? Get to the hospital, now. Why? Just do it. Kendall, hi, honey. It's me. Hello there. Who are you? What, what are you doing in my daughter's house? Don't be alarmed. But, uh, Kendall had to dash out. She asked me to mind the children, and the little angels are all asleep. Who are you? Name's Clarence. Clarence? Father Clarence? The Father Clarence? I presume you're the Erica Kane? Uh, my daughters have, have told me about you. They, they think you're very special. Oh, I suppose we're all special. Uh, there. That's better. Don't you think? I'm not much for the modern technology, but I have enjoyed your tweets. Uh, you followed me? <laughs> the exciting life of a celebrity. But that's not all you are. Far from it. You are a generous, caring, strong woman. It will do anything to protect the ones she loves. Like Kendall. What do you mean? I'm sorry I ran out before. Where are you? I just have to run up to the office to get a few gifts I stashed there. Okay. Well, your dad came by. He, he's here. He wants to see you. I'm on my way. Zach was talking about this. This is this is not my safe haven, not anymore. What? I said I never should have come here. There's no air. Okay, I'm the one who's suffocating here. Every time I turn around, there you are in my face, you and Ryan, smothering me with your happiness. Reminding me that I'm alone, and I will be alone forever. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that Zach is dead, and I'm sorry that he died trying to help me. Okay, just shut up, all right? Shut up. Your guilt and your apologies, they mean nothing. I want Zach. Bring my husband back. I can't. No, you can't. You can live your fairy tale with Ryan, and I can hope that someday I have a body to bury. I'm sorry. I want Zach. Bring my husband back. I love Zach, too. If I could undo everything that happened, and take away your pain, I would. But I can't. There's no way that I can help you, and it's killing me. 
I love you, Kendall. This place, the minute we set foot in this building, we hated each other, but working together, fighting together, crying together, surviving together. You're my best friend. I lost you, and you lost Zach. And it's all my fault. I wish it were me. I should be at the bottom of that river. And Zach should be with you. I wish I would have died instead of him. <laughs> no, 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 Greenlee. I don't want you to die. I love you too. <laughs> I apologize. I am um, been kind of stressed. That can happen when you're planning a wedding. Yes. Do you know Jackson? I know he's never loved anyone as much as he loves you. Your heart is taking you to a place you never planned to go, isn't it? Excuse me? I think I hear Ian. <laughs> Have a beautiful holiday. Your family will be all right. Someone is watching over them. So, Ems, I, I think that our family is, is absolutely perfect just the way it is. You know, just, just you and Spike, just the two of you. So, instead of wishing for more, I think we can maybe try to be grateful for what we have. I know I, know I am. Because I love you guys. I love you both more than anything else in the whole world. I love you too, Daddy. Okay. <laughs> now, you better get up and get to bed. Okay? Alright. Okay, off you go. Alright, good night. Good night. Good night, Emma. Good night. <laughs> well, I, uh, I certainly didn't see that coming. You did great. Look, this is none of my business, but what the hell, I've had a drink. Are you okay with Greenlee not being able to have children? I love your daughter, Jack. Just. Being together again, it's everything I ever would need. Sweet. Hey, I thought you were at Kendall's. What were you doing at the park? It doesn't matter now. Hitting my head actually turned out to be a good thing. I decided I want to keep my baby. I gotta get back to work. Hey, wait. Come on, you can't leave me here with... seen anything like that? No. That's how you looked when you were born. I was like that? Yeah. Six weeks premature, they had to put you in an incubator. You were small, but you were perfect. <laughs> <laughs> 